Welcome to this video on how to blend photos in Corel Paint Shop Pro X7. Blending photos can be a fun way to make a unique image using various components of different shots or combining portraits to get the best possible image. When using Photo Blend Tool, it is important that these images you'll be blending were shot either using a tripod or at the very least minimize movement. Organize the images you wish to blend in a single folder. This will make it easy for you to select them when you're using the wizard in the program. With an image selected, from the file menu, select Photo Blend. Alternatively, select the images you wish to blend, right click, and select Photo Blend. If this is the first time, you've opened the Photo Blend Wizard, the Getting Started Photo Blender panel will pop up to provide some information on this feature and how it works. To prevent this window from popping up in the future, you can simply click on this check mark, do not show this window again. And then of course you can click close. In this example, I have three family photos of a visit to Santa. The images were taken without the use of a tripod and so I'm going to use the align option as it will automatically adjust the images so that the backgrounds will match. Click on the first photo in the tray and I'm going to select the brush in. This will allow me to brush the area of the image that I wish to keep. And as you can see, as I brush this image in, I'm not being super critical about the edges of the image. Now I'll go to my next image, and you'll notice that the area that I've requested to remain are now blocked out of this image here. I'm now going to brush in my next subject. I'll move to the third image and I'll select the area that I want to keep within this image. Again, I'm going around this fairly quickly. It's quite easy to do. I'm using a large brush. Of course, I can set my brush size over here as well. I'm just going to go back over and make sure that I've got the areas that I want. And now, because there is very subtle movement of the background, I'm going to select this lock option. And what that will do is it will indicate that I want to use this particular image's background and discard the others. Now it's simply a matter of clicking on the process. And there we have it. A nice image that I can now do some final cleanup on. And I'm able to do that directly within this window as well. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to crop my image. Select my crop tool. I can set the size of the crop. You'll notice that we have some standard photo sizes here. I can also do a free form crop as well. I'll pick this area. I kind of like that framing. Simply double click in the center. We'll crop it. You'll notice that the background has a bit of a seam right here. Using the clone tool, again in this same window, I can right click to select my source and then left click to brush over the target area. Next, what I want to do with this particular image is I'm going to adjust my brightness and contrast. Bring the contrast up a little bit and I'm going to adjust the vibrancy. Now what the vibrancy will do, uh, unlike saturation where it will increase the colors, uh, vibrancy will only increase the vibrancy of certain colors and not an overall. I'm happy with these results. I'll simply click on Save and Close. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to use the Photo Blend feature within Corel Paint Shop Pro X7.